Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another awesome GPK video with Mr. D, the Collector. Yes, I am giving you guys another awesome video today. Today, as you can see, I have some of the most iconic Garbage Pell Kid characters out there. As you know, on the right, I have the Atom Bomb, and I have the Blasted Billy over here. Well, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys every single Atom Bomb and Blasted Billy card that I have in my possession. So, yes, let's get into it. First, we'll start off with Blasted Billy, who is, is Atom Bomb's sidekick. But let's start off with him and then work our way up to the king himself. Okay, so as you can see right here, I have this Blasted Billy Checklist Glossy PSA 7. This is a sweet card. Um, this was part of the box break uh, the card I got um, out of the box I broke last year. Um, that card, in my opinion, I thought it deserved, well, in anyone's opinion, when they have a card they send in, they obviously feel like their card should be graded higher. Um, I just feel like PSA, they tend to um, grade the, you know, the most iconic cards, the most valuable cards, harsher than the rest. Um, here's another one I have, uh, Blasted Billy, also. Checklist, PSA 7, Glossy. Another awesome card. Here is another Blasted Billy. This is a, a Glossy PSA 8 with the ST. So you have a qualifier. There's a stain on it. I think it was on the face of the card. Um, this is another card I had pulled out of that box break I did last year. Yes, the Sweet Cheaters License. That's probably one of my favorite backs right there. And then from my mat set, this one I've owned for several years. Yeah, so I do have a glossy set of 1985 Series 1 cards and a mat. And this one belongs in my my uh, mat set, but still another uh, Blast Billy in my collection. So I have a total of, looks like four Blasted Billies in my possession. So let's start off with this one right here on the Atom Bomb, an awesome card. Um, it's a uh, glossy, as many of you guys know, glossies are one of the most sought after uh, OS Series 1 cards, um, they're rare and uh, people love them and they seem to get higher prices. Uh, so this one um, came from that box I had uh, opened up last year as well. And here is another awesome Atom Bomb PSA 6. Yes. Look at that bad boy with the cheater's license on the back. Sweet card. Yeah, it's amazing how much these cards go for on, on eBay. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen, um, especially the spike over the summer uh, has been pretty crazy. Um, here's another cool atom bomb. PSA 7, glossy as well, with the cheater's license. Yeah, one thing I was amazed is uh, with that box I opened up, I got so many blasted, you know, atom bombs and blasted billies. Um, pretty cool. Um, I love that box. Um, here is the atom bomb out of my mat set. Um, cheater's license as well. Pretty cool. Uh I think I got this one. I think I bought this guy probably about nine years ago. I got that one. So I've had it for a while. Um, yeah, guys. Um, 
As I've said in the other videos in the past, please hit the like and subscribe button down below if you want more awesome content like this here. Um, here's another glossy Atom Bomb PSA 8. I thought for sure this card would at least been a 9. I mean, yes, there's a little OC down here, as you guys can see, but I think it would probably be with intolerance to at least get that. But like I said, um, I really do think that the PSA guys, they tend to grade these ones uh, harsher uh, than any of the other garbage book kids out there, um, especially the Nasty Nicks and the Atom Bombs. Um, here's an awesome Atom Bomb checklist glossy 90c see i thought this one and this one they should have been see how close those are i mean this one's a little more oc than this but this one got a 90c and this is an eight so yeah i don't know uh but still great cards um as many of you have seen possibly if you follow ebay and and the sales this card just went for 500 bucks, which is nuts. Um, so here, these are my last two atom bombs, and by far the most valuable. Here we go. With the cheater's license. Another atom bomb. Let's see what we get. It's glossy as well. It's a nine. Yes, boys, this is a PSA Glossy 9 Atom Bomb, one of the rarest cards out there. This card, I think I saw it recently sell for about twelve, thirteen hundred, and as high as 5000 which is nuts, but very valuable and hard to find um, at that, with that grade. And here's my last one, another glossy PSA 9 checklist atom bomb. I thought for sure these ones right here would come back 10s, but you know, 9s nines are good also. Uh, can't complain too much about them, but uh, nevertheless, in my mind, these are 10s. I mean, perfectly centered. Uh, it's hard to tell what gave it a nine um i wish psa would when you get these cards back come back with the grading on what actually brought it down from a 10 uh, i think that would be very valuable for us collectors out there um to have an idea of you know what our cards may be worth or, or what what kind of grade they might get um before we send them in that way you have an idea um, is it worth it? You know, ask the question, is it worth it to send it in? Am I going to get my, uh, uh, money back and then some, that's what I always tend to do is ask those questions. So as you can see, I believe I have, let's see, I have, uh, it looks like eight atom bombs and four blasted billies, but yes, these are all of my Atom Bombs, and Blasted Billies that I have in my possession. So, pretty good collection here. I'm sure some guys out there have massive sets com or collection compared to mine. But either way, an awesome set. Uh, yeah, guys, so this is uh, the video I wanted to show you and give you, uh, uh, show you a glimpse into my uh, GPK collection. I do have much more awesome, cool GPK stuff I will be showing you in future uh, videos. So make sure you to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at mrd.debomb at gmail.com. This is Mr. D the Collector. Always keep collecting. Over and out.